morning, everyone. Thank you for attending today's webinar. Today's webinar will focus on reasonable accommodation or work accommodation and how these can support people with disabilities to be more productive and generate better results to their companies. We'll also go through the types of accommodations and support that you can request and a couple of resources to help you with this process. But first, we need to talk about disability. We have covered this topic at our workshop disability confidence, but I'd like to back to a few key points as they're they were really relevant to the team today. It's important to remember that sharing your disability is up to you. Uh, it's a personal choice. Before deciding, you should consider why you are sharing this information, when you should do it, and if you are comfortable with it. Disability is a very broad term, and there are very different perspectives and experiences in some situations. It's important to inform uh, and sensitize people about your disability and how it affects your person. Before deciding whatever to disclose, it's advised to consider the following questions. Why talk about it? The reason may vary depending on your disability status and other important or emergency situation. For example, you might want to share this information to request an accommodation or support that will help you enhance your productivity. Or this could be useful information during a medical emergency or simply to help your managers and colleagues understand different ways of working. Another important question is when to talk about it. Uh, in the context of work accommodation, it will probably be uh, when you need to request uh, specific support. This can be done during the application process, for example, to request an alternative format form. It could also be ahead of a job interview during the onboarding process or any time after you join the company. A few things that should consider as well uh, are, am I comfortable sharing my disability and diagnosis? Am I comfortable sharing how it impacts my day to day? Am I comfortable sharing what barriers might exist for me in the workplace? And do I know what accommodation I might require? If you don't know which accommodation you require, we suggest that you do your research. You can search online, talk to family and friends, speak to other people who might have similar needs. You are the expert in your own experience, so you are the best person to choose what will work for you. If you leave this up to the company, it's more likely that they will offer something that doesn't really meet your needs. So finally, get into today's topics, what is reasonable? accommodation or work accommodation. This is a crucial aspect of ensuring an inclusive and equitable environment for all employees, especially those with disabilities. It involves modifying or adjusting a job, the work environment, or the way things are usually done to enable an individual with a disability to have an equal opportunity, not just to get a job, but to succeed in it, just like anyone else. This could include providing specialized equipment, modifying work schedule, restructuring job responsibilities, or making facilities more accessible. The goal is to remove barriers that prevent individuals with disabilities for, uh, from performing their jobs effectively without involving undue hardship on the employer. Companies are legally obligated to provide work accommodation as long as they don't create a big massive uh, margin to the employer. Our work accommodation are put in place to allow people with disabilities uh, to have equal opportunities when applying for work, to be treated the same as workers, to have equal opportunities for promotion and undertake training. Many types of work accommodation like accessitive um, access to technologies, creating communication materials that are accessible, uh, providing quarter spaces for employers, for employees, allowing employees to adjust their schedules and tasks and, and adjustable workstations like adjustable desks, for example. It's good to remember that there are financial support in place to support companies to provide these accommodations. Most of these are free or very cheap, but then 
Mm, there's a considerable cost. Companies can still get the support from the government. Two specific examples of work condition are uh, for the recruitment process, you can request an alternative format for application form. You can request uh, questions in advance for the job interview or more time to answer the question. You can request captions on a video call, for example, and you can request an ISO interpreter. In terms of environmental work accommodation, we have a few examples there. For example, automatic doors, white rooms, accessible bathrooms, organized uh, workplace. Assistive technologies options. We have captioning software, screen readers, adapted IT equipment, professional support uh, software, specialist desk or seating. I had a good list of assistive technologies and um, how they can support you. We recommend taking a look and doing your own research to see if there is anything out there that can help you. Sometimes technology that is not classified as accessible technology can also be helpful. For example, Grammarly might help people with dyslexia by checking their spelling. Some project manager tools might help people with ADHD organize their work and so on. For organizational work accommodation, we have flexible schedules, for example, starting to work a bit later or finishing up early, allowing for flexibility if the employees is not feeling well or they feel more productive at certain times of the day, supporting with their work planning as well, allowing people to make changes on how tasks are completed. For example, someone might find it overwhelming to present their results to colleagues every month, so they might ask to share written reports instead. The time for medical appointments can also be requested and allowing the employee to bring their guide dog or support animal to work, for example. The final type of work accommodation we have is personal. You might need the support or another person at work like a personal assistant, personal reader, interpreter, or translator. You might ask for a work body. This can be someone that works at the same organization and can guide you with your work like a mentor. There are resources that we would like to mention that can be very helpful when request and improving your work accommodation. The work accommodation passport is one of those. It's a live document, which means it changes and involves frequently. It's used by some companies to identify work condition needs and it gives a clear process for request work conditions. It allows the employee to explain the impact of their working conditions on them given their personal circumstances, explain the barriers that they encounter that may stop them participating fully at work, suggest adjustment that they think will make it easier for them to fully participate. Review the effectiveness of accommodation provided and the ongoing impact uh, this has on their work. Explain any change uh, to their health or circumstances. Feel um, reassured uh, that their manager will know uh, what, do, what to do if they become unwell at work, when to contact um, to emergency services and who to contact if necessary. The work condition passports. It's the purpose of the passport is to make sure that everyone is clear about what a condition have been agreed and has a record of these. Reduce the need uh, to reassess the negotiate um, accommodations every time a worker change jobs is relocated or is assigned a new manager. Provide a worker and manager with a basis for future conversation about the condition. So let's go through a short example. Let's say we have an employee who is a civil servant and is autistic. He agreed his accommodation with his line manager, which included accommodations to reduce anxiety, one of his major symptoms. Uh, the agreed accommodations include changes in the way his line manager communicated with him and how formal management meetings were conducted. This has recorded in his passport, which uh, was signed by the employee and his manager. Uh, 
he found that his passport became a useful tool for him and his line manager who could refer back to it when discussing the effectiveness of the accommodation. Uh, where improvements were agreed, they were recorded within the passports. All the information about the, his accommodation was recorded in one place and in one form. He found that his passport has ensured that his accommodation stayed in place when his line manager has changed. Uh, he is confident that if he moves to a different job or the people around him change, uh, his passport will be a useful guide to the best way to support him. Another useful resource is the work accommodation statement. This is a personal document which you can create to share with employers. It contains a summary of relevant information with work accommodation needs. It can also include your disability statement, which we discussed in our previous workshop, Disability Confidence. Each work accommodation can be outlined under individual headings. your work accommodation state can look like. So you can start with about me section with a brief summary of your disability statement, only two, three sentences long. Uh, when you introduce, you could say the law or the various work accommodation I will or may require in order to perform my role uh, to an optimum level. The list is not exhaustive and it's likely to need revising up on my beginning in my role. Then you should list your required accommodation in bullet points under the relevant headings, like environmental, assistive technology, organizational, personal, etc. Finally, include a short statement about any other unique support you might need. So we have covered a few resources and tools to help you request work accommodations. But now, but how do you actually request this with the employer? During the application stage, look for a contact on the job description. If you cannot find it, go to the company website and try to find the contact information uh, for their careers or recruit, recruitment team. This will help work accommodation or reasonable accommodation process during recruiting or an requesting work accommodations. You can ask about these to however, whoever has been your point of contact in the application process or to your manager. If you don't believe your manager is the right person, you can also speak to diversity, equity and inclusion lead or someone from HR or a disability employee resource group or an access officer in the company. In terms of when you should request an accommodation, it's when you are comfortable to do. So it is your choice when and if you do it. It can be done at any stage, application, testing, interview, onboarding, in work, events or training, anytime it feels right to you. It can be done when you need support and when you know you will need support. So remember, your disability and lived experience are unique to you. Uh, you are the expert and knowing what you can do and what support you may need. Only you, you only need to share information you are comfortable with, and you only need to share information relevant to your role and work. Before we wrap up, I would like to remind everyone uh, of our program towards work. This is an open doors program created to support people with disabilities to access employment, entrepreneurship, and education. You can visit our information hub at www.towardsworks.ie or send an email to info at open door uh, towards works uh, toward work .ie to get advice and tailored support. Another resource that is worth uh, mentioning uh, is our uh, program uh, Employees for Change. It's a resource hub for companies and it uh, includes free training. So if you join a company, you can mention this and tell them to get in touch via info at employeesforchange.ie and book a one hour training that covers disability awareness, accessibility, reasonable accommodation and more. If there will be some personal question, please feel free to write me an email and I'll try to get all respond <laughs> that question. 
Thank you so much. Thank you for attending this workshop and have a good day. Goodbye, everyone.